I think we should be very concerned with the youth unemployment crisis at the moment because we are actually in danger of losing a whole generation. We are in danger of losing all the young people that actually need to drive this world further and solve some of the crises that we are seeing at the moment. One of the things that I'm doing here at the World Economic Forum is to talk about the multiple crises, to say we're not only experiencing an economic and financial crisis, we are also seeing a resource and a climate crisis that is very severe. And uh, that the crises are interlinked, which means that one of the reasons why our economies are suffering at the moment is actually that it's hard to recover in a time where the trend on commodity prices, resource prices, have been reversed. McKinsey just did a study before Christmas showing how energy, uh, how resource prices have come down from 1900 to 2000 every year. But the last 10 years, they've gone up more than they came down the previous 100 years. This means that average commodities like steel, water, energy, rare earth materials, silver, copper, all the metals that we need for our production and consumption are going up and becoming both rising at a, at, at a large speed but also becoming volatile. So we are in a new situation, there's a game changer, there's really a new paradigm shift of uh, the, the basis of our economies that the resources have risen in this way. So if we want to solve that problem together with the economic and financial crisis, we should look at all the new innovation that can help us become more resource efficient, that can help us uh, handle the, the natural resources in a more intelligent way, getting more out of less, so to speak. And actually, ILO, the International Labour Organization, just came out with some figures on how many jobs, new jobs, can cre be created worldwide if we were to really take this problem serious and try and solve the, the resource crisis. And they point to 15 to 60 million jobs, new jobs created worldwide in just handling the, the resource crisis and, and trying to get more out of less. So I see this as a big opportunity of creating some of the new jobs so that we're not just sending what jobs from one part of the world to the other but actually creating new jobs. Another last figure that I would like to point to is a, a figure saying that we could save around 2.9 trillion dollars a year in 2030 if we manage resources more intelligently and save resources and really try to make the shift towards a circular economy where the resources are being circulated over and over again and where we protect our oceans, our forests, our air, our water, all the things that are the basis of our lives and our economy then uh, we will have huge savings and there would of course be a large business opportunity connected to this agenda. So let's solve all three crises at the same time.